I work in different forms of uh, uh, art. I, this is steel sculpture. I worked in a steel yard for 10 years. I, I viewed so much of scrap material being thrown away and discarded that I thought there must be some use for this. So I began to take pieces of scrap and uh, run them through different processes such as uh, sandblasting and uh, polishing, stone polishing machines and then welding them together and into different forms. Uh, I've got probably several hundred of these sculptures to, to date. And the phone is ringing. Uh, uh, just you, you get it and, and tell them that this is not the time to talk to me. This is a piece called S Spy Satellite View of Chernobyl. Uh, this represented the, uh, a satellite spying. This represented, the, the, of course, at night, uh, the, the moon here. And this was supposed to be a, a satellite. And this was the remains of the Chernobyl. There wasn't much remaining. And it was just, uh, just a little kind of a... It wasn't meant as a pun, but it, it can come off that way. I, none of my work is meant as a joke, but of course there is humor in it. The face is part of a, an old billboard and that was given to me as a gift by a, a, a young lady. And it's just at, at that time I was alone and I needed, I needed something like that. I needed a friend even if it was made of wood. So I, you know, it means the world to me. I don't know really what, How what more. That, uh, it, it was at that Burkhart Sign Company. It's real old. Now this is a, a piece of my work that I made uh, one night, and it's called the PLO or Living Next Door to Me. Uh, at that time, the house next door was empty, and one night I saw, or at least thought I, that I saw a movement in it, and I thought, oh my goodness, the PLO are, are next door. They're moving in next door. You know, the terrorists are, are near, they're, you know, they're your neighbors, the terrorists are, possibly, and that's why I made that. It was a very spontaneous uh, piece, but it seemed to work. That one was at the library, too. Yeah, this one has been in some shoes. And, uh, okay, now, oh, I gotta, I'm going to show you this one. It's called All Fall Down. I know it was made by taking a piece of uh, a, 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 a paper figure and moving it and blowing. And as it moved, I just left it lay where it blew and blew around it again. Then I took and cut the pieces into like uh, a jigsaw puzzle and, and moved them all around. And I did the same thing with this piece out here. Can we shoot out here? Uh -huh. If we, I can get you this much more light. You can just keep going. I can go. Okay, I'm gonna keep rambling. Uh, this is a piece called It's Here. Uh, I was reading Stephen King's It and it scared me so bad that I had to stop reading it and I came home from Henry's and I, I used to blow around little pieces of metal objects. I've got hundreds of them, little just metal objects. And I laid them out and would blow and then mask it off, blow again, let them dry, lay them different, move. Then I cut it into 12 pieces, moved them all around and, and said, well, I, I got it now. It looks, from different angles, it looks like things are staring out at you, especially after you have a few drinks. These, uh, these pieces here are burnouts from a computer okay, you were at the, uh, uh, the computer turret punch thing, and it, and it just would burn out with a laser those patterns. And I began to think, well, these mean something, and take and, and, and grind these and polish them up and uh, blast them and then paint them. And I've got, uh, oh, I think I've got about two or three of those. They're, they're very, very heavy, oh, yes, but really they're burnouts the um, of just one image after another. It just repeats that, that image. Other page of your job, just all the, all the steel you want. <laughs> well, nobody really ever said anything. Uh, I, actually, I was, they just, uh, they thought, they made fun of me. They would call me Picasso. <laughs> And they would, you know, laugh and say, what, what is this? And then they'd say, well, this is a uh, blivet. And he says, oh, this is a, they were making fun of me. And he says, well, uh, what is it? And I says, I don't know what it is. Is there anything you want it to be? And he says, well, it's a blivet. And I says, well, what is that? And he said, believe it or not, it won't fly. <laughs> and that was concerning the piece on the, on the table in there. Oh, yeah. See, so I took a lot, of, a lot of guff for making this stuff. Because they, they would just laugh and say, you know, if I'd say, you have to see it. You have to choose to see this stuff. You know, you can see it as, as scrap metal or you can see it as something. I don't care. 
you know, what you choose. I'm not, you know, demanding you view, you know, this is art. I'm not trying to take a hold of people and, and, and demand that they view it as, as art if they don't, uh, don't want to. So you didn't have a, a lot of art appreciation types at the... No, I had none. In fact, I think that they, they, they thought that I was insane and they were humoring me by yeah, giving him this stuff, you know, let him take that home, you know, maybe he won't come in tomorrow or, or maybe it'll fall on him or something. They used to say, is your house listing because of the amount of steel that I took? And I says, well, no, but we can hardly move in there. But, oh, shoot. Yeah, I just wish, uh, I'm going to try to get some, some shows. Okay. I'm going to try to get some shows, and I'm going to try. I won't stop doing this stuff. Uh, no matter how, how, what they say or, or uh, what they, how they threaten me or, or what they do, I won't stop because I feel that what I'm doing is, is, uh, is right. That's great.